Welcome back. We're continuing our on the road coverage tonight in Napomo at the beautiful and historic Dana Adobe. Joining us to tell us a little bit more about that is Alan Dario, a board member here with the Dana Adobe, also a docent as well. Thanks for joining us, Alan. Thank you. Tell us about the really the, the historical significance that this has on the entire community of Napomo. Well, actually, uh, Nipomo uh, wouldn't be here without the original 38,000-acre Mexican land grant that was granted to uh, William Goodwin Dana and um, all of the rancho boundary of uh, Nipomo itself is contained within. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one significance, but more so than that is that this place being the only habitable area along El Camino Real was a perfect stopping point for travelers, for lots of famous people here. John C. Fremont was one of them. Um, and. Uh, we have uh, his son-in-law, who was a signatory to the state constitution, William uh, Amos uh, Teft. And Al, very quickly, what, what should attract folks out here? Very quickly, what draws them to the adobe? Well, I think one thing you, your viewers might have noticed is the view. Yeah. We have uh, basically the same view shed that Captain Dana was uh, looking at from that cupola on the top roof there. And uh, we have this wonderful adobe structure that our organization has uh, worked diligently to restore over the last 14 years. All right. Thank you so much, Al. It's so uniquely situated. You're right to bring that up.